Yes, Tetra China. China Company Limited is a China-based company principally engaged in the production and distribution of oil and gas. It's headquartered in Beijing. Market cap is $211.1 billion. P.E. ratio of 30.4 and a dividend yield here of 1.4%. So the important thing is CNPC, which is the Chinese national petroleum companies, like the holding company, the Chinese government, they took PetroChina and they listed it on the market, but it has their operational assets. So what we're talking about here is another one of those gargantuan Chinese state-controlled entities that has an almost monopoly position. Well, it's got one competitor, Sinopec, so it's a duopoly. And like the two of them basically run the whole Chinese Can oil Can we industry. have a look at the share price graph? Not, oh, so, not, not so flash. So, not so flash. <laughs> but again, okay, reflective of the underlying oil price. You, I mean, it would be completely uh, crazy to suddenly see a graph rocketing from previous highs when you had an underlying oil price at its highs of, what, $145 a barrel? Correct, and now it's halved. So um, PetroChan is an interesting story. We need to understand that if you are wanting to accumulate stock, you need to understand that it is still a government-controlled business. Government owns 86% of the shares. So it's basically so it's a state-owned enterprise that's gone public. So it's like trying to list SAA and getting the public yeah. involved in it. So <laughs> that's, that's essentially what it is. But it's 14%, saying yeah. the free float yeah, is the free, 14%. The free float is 14%. So management has to clear everything with the government before they can do anything. Uh, uh, Paul's right. It's got almost a complete monopoly um, of the oil and gas industry within China. So it has the complete monopoly on the gas pipelines that basically connect all the major cities within China. So that's where it's got a decent competitive advantage. And of course, there's no competition within China because um, foreign companies aren't really allowed to get involved in searching for oil and other gas fields. Whereas PetroChina and their parent company can actually still look for new fields outside of China. Um, the issue is, is that having a state-owned enterprise essentially and with the government still fairly communist, the concern <laughs> is, 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 is there a major drive for profit? Kind of mostly communist. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got some capitalistic <laughs> ideas, which is which have proved very beneficial for the economy. But I just don't feel comfortable yeah. getting involved in this type of business. It's not a bad company. They've got some amazing assets. They're going to spin off about half of the gas pipeline business, which would help invigorate them. Problem: the share price is down a lot more than the other major guys, not because it was Chinese, but because they had a whole bunch of graft um, issues with regards to corruption, something that we are unfortunately so familiar with. Issues, so then. reputational risk issues, um, government involvement issues. But if you believe that it's important to get involved in a monopoly within China that controls energy, uh, I think it's an interesting play. Personally, I'm not interested at all, so I'm not hot on this one. Cool. Yeah, they've got some interesting global assets too. They share uh, a big gas field called Gorgon in uh, Western Australia with Exxon Mobil. And that project was a very interesting one. Murray and Roberts actually helped build the offshore pipeline where they picked that stuff up. They've had more misadventures in places like Sudan where they've had to pull out and Kazakhstan where they got tangled up. So it's not always plain sailing. But the fact that the share price is down more significantly than the other oil majors yeah. could be an opportunity. Nick put his finger on it though. The problem here is that you don't know what it is that's being done in the Chinese Central Planning Committee that's working out the next five year plan. They may decide that they're going to aggressively expand production assets and do a whole lot of exploration and then all the profits are gone for the next five years. Hot? No, you can't not buy hot. these sort of things. Not really. hot. Not hot, yeah. Not hot. Correct, not hot. You are both on a roll in <laughs> yeah. terms of being in sync today.